I got into this relationship with food where, where I couldn't just eat and be comfortable with the food inside me, um, I'd have to be sick. I used to eat a lot in secret and that's how I knew I had an addiction. I would eat because I was unhappy and I was unhappy because I ate. Eating disorders have proliferated over the last 50 years. Some of the long-term studies show that by nine years, still 60% of people with anorexia nervosa still have the disorder, they haven't recovered. And the figures are almost the same for bulimia nervosa and binge eating disorder. So our treatments that we have so far are not perfect and we need to improve them. EDGY is our clever name for the Eating Disorder Genetics Initiative and it's an exciting project which combines getting genetic information and information about the environment and are able to put them together to understand the vulnerability to develop an eating disorder. So eating disorders affect 5% of the population but uh, compared to other similar disorders they don't receive anything like the same research funding. With EDGY, we're hoping to redress that balance. We're hoping to provide a resource, a recontactable group of participants that other researchers interested in developing, for example, new interventions and treatments can use. It ended up me being hospitalized when I was 17 because my heart nearly stopped and I pretty much completely hit that rock bottom. So for people with eating disorders and more widely, it's really, really important that we focus more on research and actually get more involved with these kinds of studies. All you have to do is to go online, fill in a questionnaire, we'll then pop you a saliva test in the post, do your sample, send it back and it is free post, and then you've done your bit for eating disorders and research as well. By joining EDGY you will be advancing research into these serious long-term conditions and improving treatments for future generations.